Luke, you, you had talked about wanting to put a like a brand of Kansas football on display. I guess how satisfying was it to see that kind of come to fruition tonight? Yeah, it was nice. I mean, you know, we didn't play to our fullest potential of how I would want us to play, but you know, to for our defense to step up like that on you know, third and six, force that, and then you know, our offense were on the one yard line, and we got to just you know, get a yard. That's it. I mean, to do that and. For how that game went, where we're just sitting on the sideline the whole time, and just it's like you know, a 17 play drive takes up the whole third quarter. Uh, it was awesome to you know finish it out like that. Yeah, how did that feel? Just not really getting the chance to have much control over the game as an offense in that second half. Yeah, this, uh, like that first drive is like you know you come out, you warm up, and then it's like okay, we're sitting, and then you're like all right, we're getting ready to go, and then they do another media timeout. Gosh, it's been like 40 minutes since I've moved my legs. I feel like I have frostbite on my toes and my fingers, but uh, then you get back on the field and the one play shakes it off. It's, all, it's just fun to be out there. OJ, that, that last defensive stand, uh, how were you guys able to pull it off, especially with BYU being in such a good position? Um, so when they got down the first and goal, first and 10 or whatever, and it was on the timeout, I just, you know, I spread the word around. I'm like, we need four stops, four stops. I was big on that. I kept saying it after every time out, let's get this stop, let's get this stop. And once I knew we had him in fourth and long, I knew we had a chance. What did you think of the play Marvin made? I guess a couple of guys were around it, but the play that Marvin made to stop their receiver short of the first down marker. Um, I think Marvin, Cornell, they made a lot of huge plays the night they were flying around. Glad to have, have those two guys on my team. For, for both of you guys, what was it like in the locker room after having a victory like this, after so many fourth quarters going against you? I think the biggest thing was it was just like uh, like a relief. Like we know the kind of team that we are. We know how good we can be. And uh, like, I mean, coming in here, people might label it as an upset, but I don't think anybody on this team thinks of it as an upset based off of how we know our team can play. OJ, that 10 and a half minute drive, you guys had a similar one against UNLV back in September that didn't go your way. What was different this time and how were you able to kind of find the energy, I guess, after having been on the field for so long? Um, just, staying, just staying calm, keep my composure, you know, after they made a couple good plays, just staying together, you know, and I think we held them to a field goal that drive. So just staying together. Anything else for Luke and OJ? All right, thanks everyone. Thank you.